Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. That is good. That is good. Hello, welcome to Wahoo Warrior. This is uh, be a battle report against uh, Skaven, 2,500 points. Uh, this is a newer list of a Skaven opponent that I haven't played, so it's a little more balanced. Uh, it's kind of tuning it up to a more of a tournament-ready uh, type of list. Uh, and I also made changes to my orc list and made them much more, uh, air quote, normal, but not the stereotypical. So I'll go over my list in a minute. This is a list from left to right. It's got a doom wheel here on the far left. Those uh, guys in the back are a unit of ambushers that are not there. He's going to deploy them later. We got a lightning cannon. It's got a little uh, rat dart here to the right of that. And uh, his doom wheels kind of out there a ways, you know, but trying to get a zap. He put him there because of my deployment, but. So, a little farther in, there's a unit of slaves, and inside that unit of slaves, I think it's uh, 50 or maybe 48-ish slaves with a shield, and he's got a, a warlock engineer in there with no uh, no magic levels. Uh, don't remember the purpose of him, other than uh, maybe add a little leadership to that unit. It might have a gadget or two, but... Uh, not the Doom Rocket. He's got another one for that. Uh, in the center there, he's got his Hell Pit. And he's got his uh, Clan Rants pushing the bell with the Gracier. And uh, in hindsight, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think he ever rang, or rolled for the ring the bell once. And uh, it's a new thing for him. He's never ran a bell before. And I'm just looking at this going, why, why didn't we ever ring that thing? But uh, and then he's got another Rat Dart. And he's got his old trusty uh, storm vermin here up on the top of that hill. And uh, he used to run Queek, but now he's got a warlord on a bonebreaker ogre, which I think is super cool. He's putting it together now. Uh, he's got an ogre there. He's got a little guy next to it, but uh, he's just representing the bonebreaker. He's got his BSB in there, and then a warlock. Well, not and his BSB, and then a. Oh, he also had a Plague Priest over there in the Bell unit. And then he's got a unit of 25 Clan Rats and another Lightning Cannon. And there's a Warlock Engineer in there with a Doom Rocket. Uh, this is after Vanguards. Uh, he deploys his Scouts there. And then I Vanguard my Wolves away. So from my left to right, I got that unit of Wolves. And it's five Wolf Riders. And then there's a uh, level 1 Shaman in there. He's got a Ruby Ring. And I think that's it for his stuff, but uh, he's got, his spell is the itchy nuisance for this game. I got a Mangler Squig and a Boar Chariot. And then I've got a uh, unit of 40 Black Orcs, and I put my General in there. He's a level 4 Savage Orc Shaman. And behind that I've got a Wolf Chariot. I knew he's going to have some scouts and he's going to have some uh, ambushers, so that's why that Chariot's kind of like that. Didn't really have much else for it to do. And I also wanted to keep it away from that Doom Wheel and getting zapped. Then I've got uh, my uh, uh, Doom Diver there. And then 60 Biggins. And the uh, Black Orcs have Flaming Banner. And the Biggins have the Armor Piercing Banner. And I've got a Black Orc BSB in the Biggins. And then I've got another Doom Diver. And a Mangler. And a Wolf Chariot. And... Uh, another boar chariot and uh, then I've got in the woods there I've got a spider riding a uh, gigantic spider riding boss and then some more uh, wolf riders on the far right that vanguarded up to there so a nice position to get the lightning cannon my opponent gets a plus one and he gets first turn we both roll a one and he gets a first turn so he's going to be going first uh, I'm, I like the matchups uh, as they're sit. Uh, I like my biggins against his uh, Storm Vermin, and I like my Black Orcs against the Bell. I can chop that Bell apart with my great weapons. The only thing I don't like is a Hell Pit. I have to kill that Hell Pit with my Black Orcs because they have the Flaming Banner. And I've seen how badly a uh, Hell Pit can tear up a unit of even biggins with. Uh, 
without a flaming banner of any kind. So uh, he gets first turn. He moves his hell pit. Doesn't go very far. He only goes like about seven inches or so. Uh, his doom wheel on the far left goes about uh, really low, like five inches. He didn't go hardly at all. And uh, so he just kind of moves away from his own lightning cannon. Uh, and then his rat dart kind of comes out. His other guys kind of shuffle up. He's gonna. He's obviously buying his time. He's got two lightning cannons and uh, a ton of magic. Uh, he's got, you know, Dreaded 13th and I think Plague and wither and some other crap so uh kills a few big ones i think that was a cannonball that uh that went through there but it, he also it was a great shot uh went through a bunch of big ones but it also hit that doom diver and he rolled a one to wound the doom diver so that was nice and uh i think both cannons hit into that unit but it only killed four guys uh so yeah not bad And uh, the woods there on the far right are the blood thicket, if I didn't mention that. Now here he uh, he tries to restrain his shooting, doesn't. And then he rolls a misfire on his zap. And then he rolls a crazy amount of wounds to it. He rolls four strength six hits. Well, strength six versus toughness six, it should have been two. He rolls all four, four up. Uh, so he takes four wounds. And then he rolls out of control and shoot moves ahead about six more inches. So... Uh, so he's wounded up, and that's uh, I think the yeah the poison uh, the poison shooting uh, scouts put a wound on the mangler squig. Now if you want to comment, I don't know if we did this right. He needed sevens to hit because he moved long range, double fire, and I'm considering light cover. So he rolled uh, like th three sixes or four sixes. But then he had to roll a four, five, or six to hit again, and the ones that he did hit, I, I said were poison, so I didn't have to roll the wound. Um, I think that's the way you do that. I don't know; it never came up with me before for some reason. On my turn, declare charge. Uh, it's a pretty long one, uh, but you know I've got a movement nine and a swift stride, so I make it. I think I needed to roll a ten. Uh, it was worth a shot, and I made it. So I'm into the lightning cannon. Thank goodness. I hate those things. And then on the uh, other side of the board, I uh, charge a wolf chariot at these guys, and it's pretty pretty decently far as well. They stand and shoot and are able to put two ones on me, but uh, not kill me, thank goodness. I think I made one of my uh, five-up armor saves. Yeah, I did. So I'm hoping to destroy these guys with impact hits, thank goodness, because uh, I also hate these guys. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for charges and and otherwise I just kind of move up uh, uh, a little bit I need to I need to get that hell pit dead I'm moving the mangler squigs up and the boar uh, I uh, oh I know it. I actually uh, I think I failed an animosity and uh, punched a couple of my own orcs as well Nah, maybe that's like next turn. I think that's next turn. My uh, spider rider uh, got stung by a blood thicket. Rolled a one on my dangerous train, so it took a wound. That's poison. A spider going through a thicket gets poison. That's stupid. But uh, so yeah, there's a picture of the board. I'm just kind of pushing up. Uh, I've got two doom divers. I've got a level four. I'm just kind of waiting to see how things pan out. I need to kill the hell pit. Once I kill the hell pit, uh, I like my black orcs against the, the bell unit because they are not a very combat geared unit and with my great weapons I can chop that bell apart and I like my big ones against the storm vermin just because I outnumber him. He's uh, he's not the quick upgraded one so he's only strength four and uh, he's weapon skill four same as me so I will win the grind on that I believe. He does have a general and a BSB in there, but uh, his general, I like that bill. I think he's got four strength, maybe five attacks because of a halberd, and then the bone ripper guy does five attacks. But so, but I got numbers on him, and that's just my uh, my spider wolf or my spider wolf, spider goblin moving up there. Uh, he's pretty basic. He's got a two up against uh, fire. He's got a uh, two-up armor save, 
and a spear. So he's got like light armor, shield, dragon helm. Uh, didn't put a lot of points in him. He's about 90 points, but I like the versatility that he can can bring. And then here I just reorganized my uh, chariots, waiting for the ambushers to come in to try to keep them off my doom divers. Not a lot of great targets for the doom divers. Uh, fire them this turn at. Uh, mm, I don't remember what. They never. Oh, I I think I killed the doom diver. Yeah, I killed the. I do kill the doom wheel with a nice shot of a doom diver. And uh, here I kill the lightning cannon. He kills one of my wolf riders. So the good news is that I don't have to roll animosity checks with that unit anymore. So that's always nice. And they're just really going to just looks like sit around and be prepared to get in the way of something if they need to. And then over on the left hand side, uh, my wolf chariot had charged those guys. Uh, I rolled a one for impact hits, so that sucked. But I'm able to kill the two with the impact hits, and my actual my uh, my gobos on top kill a few guys, and my wolves kill. Them. They never do, and I beat him, and uh, he runs, but I don't catch him. So, but they're fleeing, and I'm still alive. I'm surprised he didn't uh, get a wound on me and kill me actually. So it wouldn't matter with the combat resolution if he would have just chopped me to death. So. Here, his turn, his hell pit moves on top of my mango squig, uh, 3d6, strength 6, uh, and I roll uh, 4 out of 3d6, and I'm able to get only one wound out of those 4 through his regen, so that was kind of disappointing. Uh, I mean, I kind of knew it was going to happen, I just figured I'd put a bunch of wounds on that hell pit. The good news is that he's in a really bad position where I can get a whole chunk aside of him if I can if my black orcs can make that charge uh, here his ambushers come on so they're prepared to start shooting at doom divers and uh, not much I can do about that uh, other than you know try to kill them on the next turn I really like those guys you know with the slings double shot poison slings it's pretty wicked and uh, now on his magic phase, uh, he gets off dreaded 13th, and he's able to kill 14 black orcs. Uh, you know that sucks. That damn spell. I mean, it's high casting. He cast it the whole game. I think almost every turn. But uh, uh, he's able to get it off irresistibly, and the effects of his irresistible force only cause a strength I think six hit on all of his guys who can generate power dice which is him which he four up ward saved it and the plague priest so the plague priest takes a wound and that's pretty much that and then uh, obviously his little gunner runners take care of that doom diver so that's dead and I, my turn, I moved my wolf chariot that's been mangled up. He didn't rally those two guys, and they ran off the board, so that's nice. I moved my wolf chariot up uh, to threaten there. I failed to charge with my boar chariot. Uh, it's a pretty long one. Uh, he'd stand and shot and hit it uh, three times, and I made all my armor saves, so that was nice. Uh, I never make armor saves, and it doesn't matter what I get. But so this game's going pretty good for armor saves. My black orcs do make the charge into the hell pit, so I should be able to kill that pretty easily with the flaming banner. I've had problems before though with these damn things, uh, but with this many guys into the side, it gives me a lot more attacks than if that thing hit me in the front, where I can only get like four guys in. My biggins just kind of uh, swift reform and trying to move around. Now the matchups I want were the ones I was across from. But I don't want to be stuck behind my guys for forever. I run my spider up there to march block or uh, charge block <clears throat> the storm vermin in case things go bad. Uh, he just runs right over the top of that house and parks his little butt right there. My wolves on the far right move around behind. And my other wolves just kind of squeeze through uh, a hole in the line. Actually, they squeezed through last time. They're up there on the far left. And they charged that other lightning cannon. So I got that in combat now. 
nullify these things. So there's my wolves. Just kind of they don't really have anything to do. He had reformed those clan rats to face, so I just went around to the other side. And my spider is there to keep the storm vermin out of the fight in case my in case I don't kill that hell pit. Don't need them in my flank. His own rat dart is kind of parked there in front of his uh, bell, so he's not. I don't have to worry about a charge from that bell. And then here's the the charge against the lightning cannon. Now one this game here, and I always remind myself after the facts and you just start doing it like those wolf riders on the far right they don't have animosity problem but like with these guys uh, like in the next turns you know I need to always remember if I'm not planning to charge anything this they do have a spell cast in there so it's a little different to face those wolves away because they're, they can reform it as much as they want if they're just moving but that animosity has killed more of my wolf riders than anything else right just bonsai charge into something but there's the uh, black orcs going into the hell pit you know I've got uh, like 10 11 attacks uh, so I tried to get my uh, fist gork up but that didn't work uh, I think I s tried to stomp the storm vermin and uh, or maybe that was the last turn drifted off I tried to stomp several times it always drifted off it was really bad with the stomps so I obliterate that thing. Uh, he rolled really badly on his, because uh, his initiative's high. He rolled the wall of flesh, so everybody in the front row took a toughness test, or initiative test, or take a strength six hit. And out of a, on two, initiative two, I passed three of them, so that was awesome. And then on, on his two to wounds, he rolled two wounds. So he did no wounds with that. And then he rolled like, uh, really badly on his 2d6 strength 6 attacks and uh, he only he only killed one black work and then I killed him before he could thunderstop me so that was nice so I lost one black work and took out a hell pit uh, and then uh, the other, other lightning cannon on the top left is destroyed so I've got a hell pit and two lightning cannons that I've killed so far and a doom well so it's like hey I am I am winning uh, just from the junk, you know, because over here, uh, <clears throat> now over here, his rat dart charged my wolf chariot, and I'm not sure what happened here. He had a guy in front of the slaves, and I don't know if he moved him, tried to rally him and move. He should have, he should have declared charges first. But I, uh, anyway, I fled my chariot away from the rat dart uh, because I didn't want the slaves getting to the chariot. And he redirected and went into my black orcs, which was fine because that actually helped me out, as you'll as you'll see. Because here's my wolf gonna get uh, attacked by the storm vermin, and uh, I actually uh, here at this point, you know, I'm just trying to reduce the number of attacks on me, and I issue a challenge, and he thought I had some secret trick up my sleeve to kill his general, so he refused. I mean, he's storm vermin. I mean, he's Skaven, so you don't penalize. So he uh, he moves to the back, and I send the general to the back. And between his chieftain and all the guys that could touch that spider, uh, he couldn't get through my two-up armor. I mean, he's like strength four, and uh, but, so I made all my three-up armor saves. And I out of my six attacks, I put on the the chieftain. I I get, ended up getting uh, I think. Yeah, I got two wounds through, but uh, he made a six-up armor save, so his, his uh, BSB did not die. I almost snipered it. Uh, I didn't die, though. I didn't take any wounds, and I flee, and I flee right over the top of the building, and uh, he couldn't catch me because of the building, or he didn't want to risk being out of position, so he didn't even chase me. But, uh, yeah, that worked out really well. It would have been great to kill that BSB, uh, but, uh, yeah, kept his unit out of it and I didn't lose anything so uh, so what I, what I did on my turn since that rat dart I ki I beat it and it ran I reformed to face the building so on my turn I move into the building so my black orcs are in the building and now I'm just kind of getting these guys positioned uh, you know it's uh, 
I'd like them to fight the storm vermin, but I don't really have. I used to. I usually run three combat units, and having two, I don't really have anything. So I have, I'm going to have to use redirectors, and I have to use blockers like my wolf riders to to try to isolate units, which is fine because I'm winning the chaff war. I rally my boar chariot, and I just kind of set it like that. Uh, he had fled from my uh, boar chariot the turn before, so he's fleeing right there. And so he's going to, you know, I think he's going to rally. He's still going to be stuck in a spot where he's not going to be able to do anything. Uh, he charges my, uh, on his turn, he charges my black orcs in the, in the building there with his clan rats. And uh, he takes kind of a pounding. I kill all ten of the ones that are... I don't know how that works. I really killed 14, but uh, or 12, but uh, I think I just killed 10. Anyway, I I win easily. I lose one black orc. He throws all his attacks. I lose one orc, and uh, so those guys are repulsed. And at this point, my black orcs. I got my shaman in there. And I'm just trying to cast foot or the sniper spell. Uh, just trying to do some damage to weaken up one of these units, mainly the storm vermin, uh, so I can maybe destroy it with my biggins and everything is drifting off and I'm not doing any wounds to these freaking storm vermin with my foot and I'm getting the spell off and I'm missing and then it's stopping I run my spider back uh, to over here because um, I had rallied him the turn before so on my turn I now because my opponent is he's not being very aggressive he is uh Relying on his dreaded 13th and hoping to, you know, kill a unit that way. And I'm kind of doing my foot. I don't. I can't beat that unit with my black orcs. I could beat it with my big ones, but uh, it would take time. And he's got obviously multiple units to put into my flanks. So I just kind of reform <coughs> my uh, big ones, and I uh, on on the turn before I reform them. And inched him back like an inch, and uh, so he goes ahead and charges that spider with his storm vermin. Uh, if he wants to overrun, he's more than welcome, and I will charge him with my biggins. But uh, yeah, I'm just keeping my wolf riders back there because I don't really have a, a play here. Uh, I could go after the slaves and redirect these guys. He does kill my spider this time. Uh, he had got three three wounds through. And on my three three up armor saves, I fail all three. So actually, it was his general it was strength five, so uh, it was a four up. I had three four up armor saves. I rolled three threes. I think I don't remember, but he kills my spider. And uh, so now it's just kind of a cat and mouse game. I uh, I think I missed a turn of pictures here. So he's trying to dread a third. He kills uh, like. 12 or 14 more black orcs with a, one of the dreaded 13s. Uh, I reform these guys and I swift reform and move them. I'm basically giving my flank to the slaves. The bell is, it's impossible for them to get in because they'd have to wheel twice. And uh, I move out the back of that building. You can see how many guys I I don't have very many left. And uh, so I just kind of move out. I don't position them very well. I just come out the side of that building. I go ahead and move my wolf riders to get in the way of the storm vermin to drive them off the other way. And I've uh, at this turn, and then I I hand of gork that unit. I do the small one because I really need it to go off, and I don't roll very far, but I am able to get them out of the way of the of the slaves. So once they're out of the way of the slaves, on his turn, he just kind of reforms his slaves up. Now this is his, on his turn, six. He tries to get a little fancy, actually. He he didn't reform. He charged, he was trying to charge the slaves at the wolf riders, at, at a boar chariot to get them out of the way of the bell unit. So he wanted to try to get the flank of my unit. So I flee with my boar chariot. Then he charges the boar chariot with the storm vermin. Or correction. Then he redirects towards the wolf riders, and I flee with the wolf riders. Because he's just trying to get those slaves out of the way to make a long bomb charge with this bell unit. And uh, so he, they fail. 
their charge. They're stuck right there. The storm vermin charge at the boar chariot, which was he was exactly uh, 17 inches away. He's got a five inch move, but I fl I have to flee, and I only roll a five, so my boar chariot doesn't go off. And then, uh, so it's basically this is the end of the game. I try to throw a foot. <coughs> I'm afraid of you know doing something stupid and killing my guy, but. I throw a foot out, a small foot, just try to sniper a character, he stops it, uh, charge my board chariot into the back of the slaves, uh, I easily win that combat, and he was, you know, leadership 10, re-rollable, he failed the first one, and he uh, passed the second, so the slaves didn't pop. And uh, that's pretty much the game. You know, we added up. He killed 440 some of mine. I killed 800 and something of his. Uh, so it ends up with an orc win. Uh, this was a little different game than we normally play. Usually, I just go straight at him, and I think <clears throat> I think my opponent was uh, thrown off by that. He waited too long to try to engage, and once I was up in victory points, I started doing the Skaven thing, and I was fleeing, and I was avoiding combats and not charging pell-mell into him but uh so that's the game it was fun it's a nice afternoon uh, we got to try to get some more games i want to really get my dwarves going and start playing some 2500 point dwarves uh i really like the, the my list i'm going to run so i want to see if it works other than on paper thanks for watching and take care